Greetings, fight fans. Welcome to the channel. This is the boxing book review. Today we'll be reviewing the book, The Ultimate Book of Boxing List by Burt Randolph Sugar and Teddy Atlas. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Um, most hardcore boxing fans know that boxing has a rich, rich history, but there's also a great literary history in boxing that I think more people need to be talking about. There's a lot of great, great boxing books out there exploring boxing culture, boxing history, and the great fighters over the past century and a half. Some of these writers include folks like Joyce Carol Oates, who wrote the great essay book on boxing, A.J. Liebling with The Sweet Science, other authors like Mike Silver, Springs Toledo, and writers from Ring Magazine from today and from yesteryear, like Thomas Hauser. There's a lot of great, great boxing history books out there, and I want to explore them in this channel. This book is such a fun book. Uh, it's written by Burt Sugar and Teddy Atlas. Burt Sugar is a, the preeminent boxing historian. Rest in peace. He passed away in March 2012. And Teddy Atlas, who's a well-known boxing trainer, Helped Mike Tyson, Michael Moore, trained Timothy Bradley, hosted Friday Night Fights, and I th and he has a, his own podcast now, the, the, the Fight with Teddy Atlas. This is published by Running Press, and it also has contributions from Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Hearns, Ernie Shavers, and Angelo Dundee. Here's what it says on the back. This entertaining and enlightening Compilation of top 10 lists involving all aspects of the sweet science will give any glove-loving fanatic of heavyweight dose of excitement and controversy. What were the top, what were the 10 most memorable knockouts in boxing history? Which pugilist had the greatest jab? What are the most intense rivalries? What are the biggest upsets? These questions and more are raised and answered in this bold collection of info-packed lists from two of boxing's greatest commentators. Some of the list includes most controversial fights, best boxing nicknames, most significant fights in history, top 10 heavyweight champions by Ali, most devastating single punch knockouts, and many more. The back of the book also has the author bio bios right there. Here's a sneak peek into what's in store for this book. This is such a fun book for fight fans. It's got a Ford by Brian Kenny. I used to love watching ESPN Ringside with Burt Sugar, Teddy Atlas, and Ryan Kenny. They always had great episodes chronicling the careers of the great fighters. Here's some of the lists right here. Fighters with the best jabs, single punch knockouts, the hardest I was ever hit by George Shavalo. That's an interesting list. Best left hooks, best Olympic boxers, best top technicians, greatest rivalries. There's so many uh, lists in here. They're not necessarily everyone top 10. There's a top 12 a few times. Most famous Rockies, top boxing movies. Most of the list are uh, compilations of Sugar and, and Teddy Atlas into one. But um, towards the end of the book, you have your top 10 list by weight. Going down from the top heavyweights of all time down to the top strawweights of all time. And in those lists at the end of the book, you have the Burt Sugar list and then the Teddy Atlas list right after each other. So here's, let's get a peek at one of the lists in the book so you get an example of what it's like. Boxing's Greatest Trilogies. Each list in each chapter has an introductory paragraph followed by the list. Number 10, Carlos Ortiz versus Ismael Laguna. Number nine, Battling Nelson versus Joe Gans. And each addition to a list has a paragraph or two explaining the context and the history about it. Dick Tiger versus Gene Fulmer. Emil Griffith versus Benny the Kid Parrot. Number six, Floyd Patterson versus Ingemar Johansson. That's a great trilogy. Muhammad Ali versus Ken Norton. Number four, Arturo Gotti versus Mickey Ward. That fight's probably my favorite fight, the first fight. And to see the top three, 
You'll have to get the book. This is such a fun book for um, hardcore boxing fans as well. If you're just trying to get into boxing, this is a good place to start off with too. So that's this uh, inaugural episode of the Boxing Book Review. This book comes highly recommended. Check it out.